Hi, this is PC Roger, and on this short video I'm going to show how to connect the Updraft Plus Backup Restore free plugin to Google Drive. Now everybody who's got a uh, Gmail account uh, should be given 15 gigabytes of free space on Google Drive, and this is a great way to use it. Most blogs are not going to take up uh, a lot of room, and you can have a, a lot of backups on that Google Drive and that way it's uh, in the cloud. You can also create backups and of course bring them down to your computer. That's great. Um, more backups the better. But this is uh, going to take advantage of Google Drive. So again this is the free version and it is installed. If you uh, want to get it installed just uh, go up to uh, plugins and click uh, add new and then search for Updraft Plus and you'll find it. If you buy it you actually use a totally different version that you download but this is the free version. We'll click on settings here and then again on the settings tab and you can set these uh, intervals here. I would uh, set it up to maybe uh, 5, 7, 10, depends upon how many will fit in your free space on Google Drive. But again, uh, the more the better. And you can check some of the other options here, but I am going to just show you how to set up with Google Drive. We will select that. And this link here has some specific instructions if you want to go that way, but I'm going to show it here in case you have any uh, any questions about how to do it. So the first thing we're going to do, and I'll have these links in the description of the video, link one is to go here to the uh, developers console and we'll click on the uh, APIs here. It will ask you to name a new project. We'll just call this Updraft Plus and it creates a Project ID, I have no idea where it gets that. It does have to be unique. I don't think it matters at all. I like things to look like what they are. So I'll just change it to Updraft Plus and leave the number on there so it stays unique. I do not want all these uh, email updates, feature announcements, etc. I agree to the terms of service because I have no choice and I click Create. And we can get rid of this uh, activity window here as soon as it's done. Okay. Now the next step is going to be to find Drive API. Now not Drive SDK, this is Drive API. We're going to click on that and simply click the Enable API button here. Then we're going to go to the Credentials section and select the OAuth consent screen. Here you have your email address. Uh, product name shown to users. I think that's just other users. It's not you know, going to show up anywhere. Uh, call it Updraft Plus. And these other option items are optional. We will scroll down here. Just a little bit and click Save. Now on this drop down here back credentials, we will select OAuth 2.0 client ID. We're going to select web application. And then this information here, here's the, this is basically just your website here. This is the, essentially the base domain of the authorized redirect uh, that we're going to get off of Updraft itself. We'll click back to the tab here. And here you can see they give you a link. We'll right click and copy that. And put it in the correct box here. And we are going to just fight and fight and fight with this thing, I guess. So we'll uh, move that up a bit. So we hit enter there, and it shows up. Click the create button. I love fancy pretty websites, but I like them better when they work without frustration. And here are the client ID and client secret that you need uh, to copy and paste into the updraft settings. Of course, I've got them you know, grayed out because they are secrets. But we'll just copy that all in there. We'll put it in the client ID. And then the secret. We'll likewise copy that. Put that in the secret box. We will scroll down and click Save Changes. Once we save the changes, we want to go back into the settings here and scroll down. See this Google Drive here is all input, but we need to click on this 
link here in order to allow Updraft Plus to access. We'll click Allow. And then you're done. You can click Backup now and a backup should happen. And this basically just gives us the op opportunity to not do some things, but we will go ahead and let it do it. And pretty soon we will see in our Google Drive an Updraft Plus folder appear. Now you can see it's creating the backup file. Now you can see the last backup job is showing uh, the date. And then over here in Google Drive, we have an Updraft Plus folder or directory. And here are our files from it. So that is it for this short video. Thanks for watching. I hope that has helped. Again, this is the free version of Updraft Plus. I am personally upgrading to the paid version and I'll maybe do a video on the transition. It's uh, pretty painless. But I do recommend uh, frequent backups and keeping a lot of backups. And in the uh, paid version, you can actually designate that certain backups are saved for a longer period of time, which is kind of nice too, so that you can go back in time in case you've had uh, like a virus or some kind of malware that has infected your, your installation of WordPress and, and your data. So if this video has helped, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Check out my website, pcroger.com. See you next time.